video showing how to install the Swagman Chinook bike rack on the back of your car. I'm doing it right now and running into a couple things that uh, hopefully I can help you avoid uh, in terms of problems. The first step is to insert the bike rack <clears throat> into your uh, hitch and make sure you have it aligned like this. So this part should be on top. I actually started off with it flipped upside down and that caused problems. So make sure you have it uh, this part on the top and then the, the thin arm going into the to the hitch. I actually also had it where this was going in first. It fits into there and that's backwards. Don't put that into your uh, hitch. Put the long thin arm into the hitch and then put your locking pin in uh, from the right and then you can put your locking cap in on the left um, and make sure you put the small washer behind the um, bolt. The next step is to put this long swing arm on top of the hitch or the, or the uh, rack and um, just make sure when you put it on the bolts uh, should go in from the left. There's a square hole that these will fit into uh, to lock it in place and then use a 13 millimeter wrench or socket wrench to put the, um, the uh, nuts on. Make sure you have the locking washer behind it to hold it in place and then tighten down securely. The next step is to assemble this crossbar and it's pretty simple it seems. There's a male and a female end that you connect right here and um, the key point is when you put them together they obviously will fit in any orientation there's nothing to prevent you from twisting it uh, but you want them to be facing in the same direction and how you know that they're facing the same direction it might not seem so intuitive right now at this stage of the assembly but it'll come back to you later if you do it wrong make sure this hole lines up to the other side with the same hole on the other side okay um, that's really important so do that and then also as you're assembling it put the one with the square hole on the top uh, right here so now that that's on the top the little holes I was showing you in the end are now facing down put the one on the right face uh, with a square on the top and the one on the left with the round hole facing forward so now we'll put it into the assembly just like this Okay, and that round hole is gonna line up right there. The square hole is on top. And again, those little tiny holes I showed you are on the underside. And it's probably gonna be too hard to see there. Okay, and so now, uh, pretty simple. Put your bolt facing down here. The other bolt going in here, and then the lock washer goes in underneath with the nut, and the same on the one on the left. So I can't do this with one hand, but you get the idea. Next step is you have a long hook and a short hook. Put the long hook facing the vehicle onto the upright arm, and then the short hook goes the other direction towards the back of the car. The next step is to put on the wheel trays and what the instructions tell us to do is to have the up sweep pointing toward the center of the bike rack. Uh, it seems uh, backward to what I expected, but they do say to put it the up sweep towards the center of the bike rack. And the other thing I'd say is just for like the interior bike, have them both on one side. So relative to the other, to the outside bike, I have the bracket for the inside bike to the right and the same thing on this side. The inside bike is to the right of the two uh, wheel trays and so that's my suggestion and you can obviously once you put your bikes on uh, adjust these uh, using these little knobs the last step is to swing down the upright bar lift up this latch and bend it down then pull your handle handle <laughs> and lift up this and then you're gonna have two small screws that need to be placed on the underside here one here and one on the other side there these screws will prevent the the wheel trays from sliding off they'll provide a little barrier so those will go right in these holes right here 
So thanks for watching. I hope the video was useful. You were able to avoid a few of the problems that I had. If you found it useful, please smash that like button and hit subscribe. Have a great day.